Phase one initially opens the 303 from Happy Valley to I-17. So it's 14 new miles of Valley Freeway. This is the machine that measures uh, smoothness for the concrete pavement. Once we run this profilograph, it counts what we call the bumps and the dips. Okay, this is where we switch lanes. We measured in tenth of a mile sections, 528 feet, and it simulates the travel of a vehicle. So if I have three lanes of traffic, then that means I have six different passes, two for each lane. So if you figure three lanes, 14 miles, and whatever you push forward, you turn around and you push back. So um, I, I would say Phil's probably come close to 100 miles pushing this thing. Here we go. It's a regular bicycle tire. Whenever that tire either raises or lowers, it's all measured by computer. It's all about sensors, and, it, and it, it'll tell you how smooth that run is in 528 feet. It gathers all the data, and it gives us a smoothness factor for that 528 feet. If there's a bump that's greater than 3 tenths of an inch within 25 feet, that is a must grind, and that must be addressed. This grinder is, uh, it has diamond tip concrete blades. It's taken the bump that we identified out or it's, it's, it's taken the limits of the dip and making the dip not so profound. Is it hard pushing this thing now? Uh, not downhill. <laughs> it's always been a method of measurement on feet. We've never used a transporting vehicle to either push or tow. All right, so we're going to the next side. Everybody likes a smooth and quiet ride, and this is how we guaranteed the smooth part of the ride.